What's good everybody? This is D the Philly Renegade. The other night I was on Facebook and I, I watched a guy, he's, he's pretty popular on in the streaming community on Facebook. And I watched him sit in in recent plays and call the same Samuel Nickel Blitz. I didn't watch the whole game, I won't say all game, but for quite a while. That's all he called over and over again. And he was just destroying. It was two different people I clicked on and you know he was running it and he won that game it was late in that game and a couple minutes later i'm scrolling and i come across again he's playing a female and running the same bliss over over again and she just had no answers for it so first thing i want to talk about real quick is recognition so i picked two defenses to start these videos off i was going to do a whole series on it but i mean that video could be an hour hour and a half <laughs> with all the different defenses but i decided to do two at a time if you guys like this video and want to see another one, another two defenses, you got to let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know. I'll do another one. But I picked these two defenses for a reason. I'm going to start with the 4-3-6-1 even defense. This one, again, recognition is your number one thing. And this one, I think this might be the first year that this defense really became popular. I'm not sure. I don't think this was in last year. But... You can see here the um, there's a 4-3 and you got the two outside linebackers showing blitz. Doesn't necessarily mean there's obviously some zone defenses in here, but this is a very obvious um, defense. One other reason what's going to make it obvious against a user is most likely he's going to take that middle linebacker and bring him down over your center thinking that that's going to help get a man free. It may or may not. I've seen evidence to both. Like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But just from a concept, if you look at this, I got five, five linemen blocking. He's sending six right off the bat. So even if he doesn't bring that um, linebacker down in the middle, one guy is coming free regardless. Whatever you do, there's going to be one guy coming free just from a simple mathematics perspective. But the tell will be he'll bring that middle linebacker down. So the very, very first thing you need to do is recognize that it's coming. All right, now that you recognize it's coming, what you don't want to do is run your normal offense. So when I say that, what you need to do and this video hopefully will help you with that is you need to develop a quick game offense so quick game offense may become part of your normal offense but if you have a serial blitzer now you know i'm talking about the guy that's running this all game you get sacked like the first three plays of the game because he ran the same blitz you need to go to your quick offense and to be honest with you after the first time you should suspect that he's a serial blitzer especially if it's early in the game maybe first play of the game he comes up with something like this what you don't want to do is run your normal offense i chose this play it's a play action play, it's a long developing play. Stop running this. <laughs> don't run Don't run these long play action play, uh, pass plays against this defense or any other spam blitzer. And unfortunately, the young lady that was um, playing the second game, she was trying to run her normal offense. She was doing all types of deep stuff, play action stuff. You don't want to do that. So let me, um, let me just run this play and show you. See how much time that takes? I actually did have a lot of time to get that off. But nine times out of 10, and this defense might not be a good one because it's bringing linebackers. If you got anything that's bringing cornerbacks that's faster, you definitely don't want to run any play action stuff. So run it again, quite a bit of time. And I, I had time to get it off. I did have a time to get that one off. Um, but you don't want to run, you don't want to run a whole lot of play action plays against somebody that's spam blitzing you because the whole goal is for him to get there. If you, again, you're running something that's play action and he's bringing corners that are faster, you, you're not going to get it off most of like in nine times out of ten. Um, what you also don't want to do is run certain run plays. So I probably wouldn't run. Let me just see. Some of these pitch plays can actually be effective, but let me see against this particular defense. Yeah, I probably wouldn't run certain pitches against it so play action pitch long developing plays those are the type of things that you don't want to run you want to develop a quick pass game so let's get into that all right so what you need to do is create a, a quick pass game and here this r1 is your money play your money uh, route on this because the middle linebacker there or i'm sorry in this yeah in, the, in this defense the middle linebacker is covering him most likely so you want to bring him over i, I have seen in, in practice where that safety will cover the um, running back but there you go you got your middle linebacker covering him and you're getting him out getting the ball out quick we'll go instant replay real quick on that don't need to do that so if you look 
that middle linebacker's coming, you just want to throw a quick pass. And nine times out of 10, that's going to be the user. So if you look at that, if you catch that, give a quick move, you're running up the sideline for a touchdown. You're high stepping at the 50 yard line because <laughs> you're so wide open. And that's an easy touchdown. So start to develop a quick game. Now I'm going to show you a second pass, a second um, swing out of this. And if I can find the formation here. This one has a different swing pass. If you look at cross, it's just a different angle that he runs. It's more of a hard cut up the field. And I find this one to be very effective also. So I'm gonna call the same defense. Here, I'm gonna move him over again. God is already moving a drag. In this case, I've seen the safety pick him up more. Yeah, I oh, know he stayed with him. I, I took a little bit longer to throw the ball because I wanted to see where the safety was going. Let's take him over. But again, quick pass out. And I think this is a little bit more effective because the running back runs wider first and then cuts up. So it's putting a little bit more distance between him and the linebacker before he gets the ball. And there you go. So that is effective. Now, again, I try to teach you concepts and not necessarily specific plays. That route is in another formation. Uh, I forget exactly which formation it is, but I know that route is in, I think it's a doubles. I forget exactly where it is, but the, really the concept is if you if you see that route, regardless of where it is, you can call that against this uh, this defense. So another thing that helps um, is is ironically against this defense in particular is running the ball straight up the middle. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to 01 trap. Call the same defense. Now he's going to most likely be the user as the middle linebacker. That could be a good or bad thing depending on his user game. But watch this here. He gets picked up by that that guard that's coming over, say Amalu in this case. And so running the ball straight up the middle is very effective against this. But look how wide open that is. And again, not, it's, I'm not just saying that this particular, don't call this particular play against this defense, although you could, but let's just choose another run up the middle play just to show you. Again, it's more concept than play. Uh, let me see. Inside zone. And I'm gonna go here, X. And take this right up the middle. It's almost a five yard game. And again, you're not getting sacked. You're not throwing interceptions. You're not fumbling the ball. You know, on a, on a, a quarterback sack fumble. And if you keep hitting him with something quick like this, he's gonna come out of that defense eventually. He has to. He can't keep giving up five yard gains on this run. So add in run up the middle to your quick game when you see this particular defense. Now, it, it will work against other defenses, but this particular one, run up the middle, works very, very well. Another thing that works against this defense, ironically, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, are jet sweeps. I'm gonna call one in particular, and it's the single back bunch tight end jet sweep. Now, again, I said I don't wanna show you particular plays, but I'm gonna tell you why this one works, and you can adapt it you know, to other plays that you may have in your playbook. The reason why this one I think works is because if you think about it again, it's man, it's man coverage. And with everybody being bunched on the left side, you coming across to the right, you just have left, less defenders on the right side. Now, normally what I would do is I would make Quez Watkins the, um, the end around receiver there, the jet sweep receiver. Right now I got AJ Brown, but it's gonna show you how effective this is because AJ Brown's still gonna get out. One-on-one, -on -one, he's going. And I'm gonna instant replay this because this is why it makes no sense that this works. If you look at that outside um, linebacker that's supposed to be blitzing, one, he drops back, and then two, he commits to the handoff. <laughs> so, so he's out there and he could have easily made the tackle, but he commits to the handoff inside the play action. So I'll run that again and you can see it. So 
What you want to do to do this, you want to continue that outside arc, keep straight down. So you continue that outside arc. And, and now again, I'm running this with AJ Brown just to show you demo wise. Quez Watkins is usually going on this. He's going, Quez Watkins is so fast, he's going up the field for the touchdown. So your jet sweeps work. All right, another thing that works against this defense are option plays. If you're an option runner, I definitely recommend mixing in some option against this. This one, again, I'm not, I'm not telling you to call this play, but this one is very effective and for the same reason. And you'll see at the alignment, because I got everybody bunched on one side, it's just taking all the defenders over there. So if he crashes down on that outside, which gives me my read to keep it, I'm one-on-one. -on -one. And you'll see, let's see if we can catch one where he crashes down. He doesn't, I hand off. And the zero yard gain there. But really in this, I'm running this because I'm, I want him to not contain. So that one was interesting because it looked like he was crashing, but he actually contained. There we go. So, really this one is effective. If you think you have a player that, that's not really great at QB containing or reading the, um, the quarterback, very effective run. I'm gonna show you one that's even better. Again, I don't wanna get into specific plays, but I'm gonna show you one that's even better that I like to run. And again, concept, if you have it, it's this Y lead option. And the reason why I like this is because God is gonna come across the formation and give me some help on running that outside, running to the outside. So again, if he crashes down, that's my read to keep it. And then I have Goddard as a blocker, a lead blocker out there. Crash down, Goddard makes a block. And typically Goddard will block that safety. He got caught up enough to get me to the outside. And again, Goddard got caught up again on the read player. But if he gets out like he's supposed to, he gets that safety. But either way, it's still as effective as it needs to be, you know, to get me out there. See that? So again, put mix your options in. Option would destroy it. And again, I'm talking about building an offense, not, not building one play that'll beat this. If you build an offense around this where you're calling multiple things that this guy can't stop, he's going to have to go to plan B. There's no, there's no way he can't. If he has a plan B, a lot of guys don't have a plan B. <laughs> so, so um, you know, he's going to have to eventually go to plan B. The last thing I want to show you, and then I'll show you a couple plays against the other defense. A lot of it is the same, so I won't spend too much time on the other one. And the other one, that one is the defense that the guy was running in my Blitz Happy video. I put a link up in the upper right hand corner right there. Look at Blitz Happy. Look at the second half specifically of the game from, from the kickoff on. I demo all types of plays that will destroy um, the next defense that I'm going to show you. So I won't put too many in this video. So I talked about not running deep plays when you um, when you get a spam blitzer, but I'm going to show you I'm going to show you a way you can actually run deep plays. And I'm putting Quez in my spot there. So I'm going with my all-time favorite play this year in Madden, which is PA Seams. Now, it wouldn't, you would think that this play, you couldn't get off against this defense. Now, if I ran it straight up, that would be correct. But I'll make a couple adjustments that's going to make this play deadly against defense. And the Bills have a good safety back there, but you'll see I'm, able, I'm going to be able to complete this uh, at a pretty high percentage against this defense. So the first thing you want to do, you want to cancel your play action. If you don't know how to do that, it's triangle your play action um, user, which is R1 and an R2 to make him pass block. Or you can just swing him, you can do whatever you want, but in this case, I, I need him to pass block. So now what does that do? It evens up the number to count wise, right? So now I got five linemen and then the running back blocking. So he got six people coming now, it's even. But here's the trick of what I do. People may call this cheesy, but if you're gonna spam blitz me, I'm gonna do this all day long. I'm gonna take Devontae Sw Smith and I'm gonna move him in motion and I'm gonna snap the ball when he's really behind Goddard or before he passes Malata. So anywhere in there, if I snap the ball, Smith is going to become a blocker. If I smack, um, snap it there. Now he, he doesn't become an effective blocker. <laughs> As you see, he, um, I'll instant replay that. 
I snapped it very quick there. And, and I will do that against specific defenses when they're bringing corners from the outside. I'll snap it very quick to keep Devontae over there. So he's just kind of hanging out. But he does, he does come up and chip at some point. And as you can see, I got one-on-one -on -one coverage over the top there. So let's run it a couple more times. It all depends on where I snap the ball. I usually snap the ball before he crosses the center. Do not snap the ball when he's anywhere near the center <laughs> because he will snap it and hit Devontae and it'll be a fumble. So I'll hike it and somewhere in there. He picks up a block. I had plenty of time to get that ball off. Horrible pass, but as you can see, now this will confuse a spam blister if you don't, if he hasn't seen this, because a lot of times he's gonna be thinking that, okay, I'm gonna get home on this easy and get the sack. And he doesn't understand why I have so much time back there. That time I didn't have time, but nine times out of 10. And I'll say this real quick, and I'm actually glad that happened because it reminded me to say this. When I'm playing a spam blister, I almost never give up sacks. If I recognize it early, for sure, off the bat, he's not gonna sack me because I go to my quick game and he's just not gonna get any sack. Now he may get some knockdowns from the standpoint of um, I'm trying to get the ball off and he just hits the he hits me at the time that I'm trying to throw it, but it's gonna be an incomplete pass. But I almost never give up sacks. So I'm gonna run this one more time. See how much time I have, this is crazy. So all right, I'm gonna jump into the second defense. And um, I'm gonna go back to options because again, most of it is the same, but it's a particular option play that I like to run against this defense. And it's the speed option, the X there. And I'm gonna go to the second defense. So that is nickel. So the double mug, it's a couple different. It's a three, three one as well. But the Bills have the 2-4 double mug. So again, from a recognition, recognition standpoint, this defense is very recognizable. In this defense, I like to run, I'm sorry, this option I like to run against this. And then what I'll do is I'll make some adjustments. I don't know, I'm left-handed, maybe this is why. I like to run this to the left. <laughs> Although most runs, you know, I go to the right. But for some reason, this one, I like to run to the left. So I will flip it. And you see my, my box is to the right. But I'll flip it and I'll still run it to the left. And I got that, I moved AJ Brown because I know this is man again and I know I'm clearing out a receiver and I'll run this. And then again, it's me, it's me and a safety. I'll take that all day. And, and I will typically run this. I'll say I'll run this down near the goal line. So this is my inside the five yard line run. So that time, I forgot to flip it. That time, it was interesting that um, Miller, the way he stepped off the line there. But I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it stock, and I'm just gonna run it. Um, Got to try to get a block there. It should have been one on one. It actually was two on one. That was about a five, six yard gain. Run it stock again. One to two yard gain. But again, it really, I really like to flip this. Ah, I forgot to flip it before the motion, so I'll run it this way. <laughs> it actually worked out better that way. All right, I'm gonna flip it, then motion my man over. This time I'm motion to Fonte. I don't, I don't, don't do that often. In theory, I would assume, and I don't, haven't looked at the ratings, but I would, I would assume A.J. Brown blocking is better than Devontae. One-on-one. -on -one. And I'll take that all day. And again, I run this usually down around the five-yard line. One-on-one -on -one with a user that's clicking on, I'll take that all day. I'm going to run a stock moving Devontae this side. Not bad. Ten-yard game. So, okay. So, just again, to recap the, the concept against this particular defense, I'm gonna run some of the same plays over again. So back to the mesh, bring Devontae over. Now this one, I'm gonna show you why he was so wide open. And this this is not realistic for practice. Cause in this case, against this particular defense, I told you, you gotta recognize who's covering it. It's actually this guy way back here that's responsible for Miles Sanders. And what you'll see 
as a user, he'll, he's going to bring him down somewhere over the center or somewhere over uh, near my tackle or my guard just because he knows he has to cover that running back. So in practice mode, this one is not that realistic because as you can see, that safety, he's nowhere near miles. Now, if you get a user that's not, <laughs> that thinks he, um, you know, can cover it that way, it's only going to take him one time to adjust because he's going to see easy money. But that's a tell. When he brings that safety down, you know that's, that's what's coming. And again, creating a one-on-one -on -one with you and, and him. You know, I'll take that all day long. So here, I don't, I don't typically run up the middle against this defense, but let's run a couple. <clears throat> and the reason being, obviously, is because he's coming straight down the middle there. If I were to do this, I probably will bring here because I'm really not looking to go up the middle. What I'm looking to do is bounce this to the right. Yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't run that. And again, this is the difference between the two. This play is effective against that 4-3. Um, it would not necessarily be that effective against this unless you can bounce it. And then you got your one-on-one -on -one to the outside. And let's just do our sweeps. Again, from a concept perspective, um, the sweeps actually do work against this defense. So here I'm going to call the same single back just sweep. And if you look at that, I didn't put um, Quest Watkins there. One on one. That's all you asked for. Give me that one on one. Actually, I am gonna I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put Quest there so you can see how that looks. All right. So now I got Quest Watkins in that spot, and this is how I run it in real games. Quest is so fast. One on one. Give me that all day long. Again, playing against the CPU with superstar abilities, you're not going to get it. But run this against a user who's clicking on, trying to stop quests. <laughs> and you're going most times. Look how wide open that is. All day. All right, and the last thing I'm going to show you, sort of a bonus, and, you know, if you don't have these in your playbook, so be it, but swing plays out of RPO. I don't run straight up swing plays anymore out of Madden, on Madden 23, because they just, they act real goofy. But, all right, let me go to my, I'm gonna do the two running back one first. This play here, this RPO counter read, is a deadly play against these blitzes. I'm gonna run it against both blitzes real quick. So let's start with the, um, the middle blitz. And if you think about it from a concept perspective, this is man. So, who is ever responsible for Miles Sanders needs to get over there, right? And you got your blocker. Now, the reason why I like this one, because I have two blockers out there. I will show you another one real quick, and then I'll run both of them against um, the other defense. So, so I just ran the, the RPO counter read. I flipped it. But the other one in this particular playbook, and again, concept-wise, run whatever you have in your playbook and it will work here. But it's the um, RPO read bubble. And I'm throwing it to the side with the one um, running, I mean, one wide receiver over there. So this one is not as effective. Now you could put a tight end over there. AJ Brown is a pretty decent blocker, but if I put a tight end over there, this would be much more effective. But let's run this. And this goes to Kenny Gainwell as opposed to Miles. torches it and he has zero chance of sacking you right or you know hitting you for a loss on that play and you could also let it hand off but again this one probably wouldn't be that effective just because they're clogging up the middle so all right i'm gonna jump into the other defense real quick i'm gonna get you guys out of here and i'm gonna run those same two plays again all right so this is the counter running um with the two blockers on that side again if i Really wanted to, I would take Quez out and put a tight end. I put Goddard there to give me a, a, a decent blocker there. Let's let this one run. He has zero chance of sacking me. Positive play there. And then I'll run the other one. So it's the RPI read. 
RPO Rebobo. Yeah, and I like the other one because of the two blockers, but again, it's, it's very effective play. No chance of sacking me. Highly, um, a very high percentage play. And if you run that down closer to the goal line, you're going to get a lot of touchdowns off of that. So that's it. The, the main concept, just kind of backing this up, is to develop a quick game. Develop a quick game against somebody that's running the same you know, defense over and over again. And again, the video that, that inspired this, or the video was already playing, but this, that inspired me to get up and actually start recording it was that video I watched the other day on Facebook. It was ridiculous. He just ran that the 6-1 even all game long. Develop a quick game. And as soon as you see somebody blitzing um, all the time, just go to your quick game. And and that's I've showed you a lot of different concepts because I don't want you to just run one play against it. Then you become a spammer, a serious spammer, which, you know what, if you started it, then so be it. But anyway, add all of these concepts into your into your quick game because he's, you're going to get him out of, the, out of it faster. And if he doesn't come out of it, then you know you got several plays that are going to beat him in the clutch. Now, if he has a good offense and he's um, – He's able to just keep pace with you. You're going to score for four, score for score. You know you got several different plays in your arsenal to to run against him. So that's pretty much it. Philly Renegade. I'm out. If you've learned something, please hit that subscribe button. Share this video. If you um, know somebody that has trouble struggling against these blitzes, share the video with them. Check out Blitz Happy. You need something. I got two more that I got in the queue. If you guys give me some comments and likes, let me know that you enjoyed this video. I'll put that together as well. I'll talk to you later. Peace.